much confusion has prevailed over the Central Vista project, also called as CVP in short. What does it aim to accomplish and what are the objectives of it? The Legislative Branch of India is currently housed in the Parliament House. The Executive Branch, consisting of President, Vice President, Prime Minister and 51 Ministries, resides in numerous buildings in and outside the Central Vista. In its original form, as completed in 1931, the later consisted of President's House, Parliament's House, North and South Blocks and National Archives. Expanded need for the office page led to addition of the Central Secretariat building such as Udhyog Bhavan, Nirman Bhavan, Shastri Bhavan, Rail Bhavan and Krishi Bhavan during 1956 to 1968. Today, 39 ministries are located in these buildings in the Central Vista, while the remaining 12 are in the rented spaces outside of it. Built in times when even window, air conditioning and telephone were considered luxuries, digital age was decades away and space was plentiful. These buildings are highly inefficient at accommodating modern amenities and technologies and make highly inefficient use of space. Moreover, several ministries are located far away from the Central Secretariat building, paying nearly about 1000 crore in rent annually. With India emerging as a global player, it is important for the nation and the national government to be housed in a spacious modern buildings. Moreover, offices must be designed for the digital age. There should be enough space to house all ministries within quick reach of each other. These are the objectives behind the Central Vista project. It includes a new building for the parliament, rejuvenation of a Central Vista Avenue, new residence for the Vice President and the Prime Minister, a new PMO, a new common central secretariat that would bring all 51 ministries in the complex of internally connected buildings, new modern and significantly more spacious homes for the National Museum, National Archives and Indira Gandhi National Centre for Arts that is IGNCA, a new garden near Yamuna, a biodiversity arboretum. The estimated cost of the project is Rs 20,000 crores and it is slated for completion in 2026. The first phase launched in the current physical year aims to complete the new parliament building and rejuvenation of the Central Vista Avenue at the cost of Rs 1,339 crores. It would seem that a project that modernizes the seat of the national government, makes efficient use of scarce space and beautifies the national capital would be welcomed by all, but as it is not so. Critics argue that instead of wasting the sum of rupees 20,000 crores on new buildings, the government should use them to elevate poverty. But this is spurious argument. While a nation must surely strive to assist its poor, it must also invest in its future. Going back to 1950s and 1960s, if PM Nehru had followed the same critics' perception, we would have had no nuclear and space research programs, steel mills, large dams or many of the existing government buildings. Even in India-China war did not lead Nehru to neglect non-deficient investments necessary for secure India future. An eminent economist had uh, called it callous to launch the CVP in midst of COVID pandemic. Even this is equally spurious argument. For the sum of Rs 1,339 crores devoted to the first phase of the CVP has in no way compromised the financial resources available for combating the shortage of medical supplies or protecting the poor. If we had to struggle for medical supplies during the massive second wave, it was because of the physical shortages of the oxygen, medicines and the medical personnel and not scarcity of financial resources. Activists also contended that the project would lead to demolition of many of the iconic buildings. But here, the government has unequivocally stated that none of the heritage buildings including the India Gate, Parliament House, North and South Blocks and National Archives is slated for demolition. Demolition or redevelopment is limited strictly to the buildings constructed in the 1950s or later. There have been many cases where the petitioners have gone to the court and have contended that the Central Vista project was not essential activity and can be put on hold for many times. And uh, this case had come up for hearing and 
center had been refuting these claims as facade or uh, to disguise or aim to stalling this project uh, in at the same time the court court has also uh, taken a uh, view of this the, the central government had uh, filed an affidavit before the high courts claiming that uh, covid-19 complaint facilities have been provided for the workers of the site including the provision of the stay testing isolation and medical aid etc the solicitor uh, general tushar mehta appearing for the central government assured the court that the project is being undertaken in accordance with the law and measures have been taken to check the health and well-being of the individuals well this was uh, well taken and uh, i think any project which brings out the country's image up in the world and also caters for your future requirements should always be a welcome thing whether uh, what will be its uh, disadvantages only time can tell us till then uh, we i'll see you back with uh, the next topic very soon take care bye bye